prepping beds. I'm going to show you what I do. Um, i got to get some carrots out of the ground. We have a cold front on the way. It's going to be raining in the evening. It is also going to frost, most likely. There's a frost advisory issued. Um, and I need to get more things in the ground because I have a certain way that I'm setting up my low tunnels um, for winter farming this year. And I need to make sure that I'm utilizing the space that are I am planning to have low tunnels over. Um, so we're going to do that. So I'm going to be starting low tunnels that will cover two beds. They will be covering these two beds of carrots. These are almost mature. They could use a little bit more time. Um, but I will definitely be able to harvest these during the winter. So I'm going to have two here. They're going to be 50 foot. So they're going to cover those two beds there. I'll probably crop out that arugula soon before it is covered with uh, greenhouse plastic. And then these two beds. This is already planned as a 50 foot bed. It was a 25 foot, but I knew that I was going to be putting low tunnels over these two beds. These carrots are ready to go. They're not that great. They've kind of died off, but I need to get them out of there. And then yesterday I cleared out that bed of arugula and I'm just going to make this another 50 foot bed and probably put some of the brazing mix that's similar to what I created for the hoop house. about having the flame weeder is that in conditions right now where I tilled the soil and it's, it was kind of just a little bit more moist than I would like it to be and especially with the earthway I don't know if it's the same with the jangs here but the back wheel will get dirt collected on it and it's probably just with the earthway because I know the jang has a different material um, but it will collect the dirt and then start picking up the seeds that you just put down. So what I'm gonna do with the flame weeder is go over the bed pretty slowly and get the top layer of the soil to dry out. That way, that does not happen. <laughs>
bed and it did work to keep the dirt from sticking to the back wheel of the earthway. Uh, there were a couple times I had to brush them off but I noticed that I was pushing down on the back wheel a little bit too much which is not something you want to do when the soil is still a little bit moist. Uh, the reason I killed in unfavorable conditions is because right now we have a cold front moving in and it's going to get cold and also wet and then I think a few days out we're supposed to have a couple days in a row where a warm front will be moving in and dumping rain for a couple days. So I really just want to get this in before it's much too late and now it might be a little too late. I really. I've not done much winter farming, so this is all experimental uh, to see what happens. So if you like this video, um, if you found any of the information useful or helpful, uh, like it or subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram at Gilbert Scrapes, Iowa, and I will post a link to that in the description or at least give you my username for Instagram. Um, thank you.